How's it going guys and girls? My name's Camel and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. In this video I'm going to show you one way to make gold with provisioning. This isn't the best way to make gold, this is just an extra way to make some extra cash every week or every day even. Now before we get too into this I'm just going to show you the skills that I have spent in provisioning. Now I have provisioning 50 out of 50. If you haven't seen my power leveling provisioning video be sure to check out the link in the description. It would really help you out in applying this certain technique. Now I've spent 15 skill points in total in this skill tree. Now for recipe quality, you pretty much only need one point in this, just so you can use green recipes. Recipe improvement is quite essential because the higher level the recipe, the more gold the items worth that you create from that, so it's worth putting points into that. But here's the real two that you need to have full points in. You need full points in chef, creates three extra servings for each food recipe made, and of course brewer, which does the exact same thing, except for beverages, creates three extra servings of each drink recipe made. So in this particular technique, there's no place to player interaction whatsoever it's you the environment and a vendor so with chef and brewer for every item you create instead of getting one if you have full points in it you get four back so you create the one original one then you get three extra as well so because we're creating these items to sell for gold to a vendor I mean four times the items that we would have had is absolutely paramount and I mean mindlessly necessary for this technique so let me show you here in my inventory in my bank basically what I've done over the past week I have just collected all ingredients from sacks, crates, barrels, and wherever else you find ingredients. As you can see, I have stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of ingredients. There's at least like a hundred slots taken up between my inventory and my bank with just pure provisioning ingredients. Crazy stuff. I wouldn't suggest doing this weekly. I would suggest doing this once a day because this took me about 50 minutes to cook up a week's worth of provisioning ingredients. 50 minutes isn't something you want to spend standing there cooking stuff. You should do this daily. Take 5-10 minutes out of your day and create an extra like 3-5,000 gold a day. Not the best thing ever, but it's certainly not the worst thing. Like I said, it's just some extra income that you can create with these items that you would probably otherwise find useless. Now what you want to do is go to a cooking fire here. I'm in some inn, some tavern, who knows where the hell this is. Now what you want to do is use green or white recipes because green and white recipes only use two ingredients to create an item. And because we have full points in brewer and chef, we're using two ingredients to create four items. So instead of using two ingredients and turning that into four gold, we're using two ingredients and turning that into 16 gold. So essentially every provisioning ingredient to me is worth eight gold. Because like I said of that conversion into an item and then with the points in Chef and Brewer, creating three extra for each one. So you want to use as little ingredients as possible therefore having more to use to create more and more and more items. And another thing you must do is create the higher level items first because higher level items have a higher value. I'm pretty sure it caps out at four gold, but it is smarter to create the higher level items first, then go down to the lower values and lower and lower and lower until you're down to one gold. Now, as you can see here, I do have a shit ton of ingredients. So if you don't mind, I'm going to skip 40 minutes into the future when this is all finished. Now by this point, I only created the items worth 4 gold and 3 gold because I'd already spent 40-50 minutes doing this and I was sick to death of cooking and brewing. So we go to my inventory here, here's all the items that I created. These are all the provisioning consumables that I created. As you can see in my bags, I have tons and tons of provisioning materials left. And I also have tons and tons and tons of provisioning materials left in the bank. But like I said, I was absolutely sick of brewing and cooking. So I stopped it there. As you can see, all of the 100 stacks are worth 400 gold and 300 gold. That's because I only created the items worth 4 gold and 3 gold. So now that we've created all of those items, what we need to do is head to a vendor. There's no player to player interaction needed for this. A lot of people absolutely hate the fact that there's a lot of player to player interaction needed to make gold and to level up crafting in an efficient manner. So hopefully you guys will love this because it requires zero player to player interaction. So here we go, got the vendor. Now we just sell all of the provisioning items that we created to the vendor. And if you have a look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, right down the bottom, it has all of the gold stacking up that I'm getting back from this vendor from selling all of these provisioning items to him. This is not the fastest way to make gold. This is not the best way to make gold. This isn't the smartest way to make gold. This is just a way to make gold that requires zero player to player interaction and it also turns those seemingly useless provisioning materials into some extra cash every day, every week, however often you wish to do this. Now of course you can use those particular provisioning ingredients 
to create particular beverages or foods that people are looking for, like especially in the veteran levels, there aren't that many provisioners, but there are a lot of people who want the extra buffs because at that high end, I mean, you can get like an extra 300 health and 300 magicka from one blue food. And that's a massive difference when it comes to PvP and endgame raids and dungeons and stuff, so people do pay big money for some particular provisioning foods and beverages, so keep that in mind that you can use these ingredients to create those items. But in this video, I'm not doing that. Like I said, this is purely a non-player-to-player -player interaction video. So there we go. This is just a way to utilize some of those seemingly useless provisioning ingredients just to make some extra cash every week. You would never rely on this. Just like in real life, you need multiple income streams for the Elder Scrolls Online. There's no point relying on one income source. You need a whole bunch of different ways to do this because when they patch stuff and nerf stuff, it can render some things, you know, from your main income source to absolutely nothing. So it is smart to have a whole bunch of different ways to make gold within the game. Now, if you want to learn some different ways to make gold in the Elder Scrolls Online, be sure to check out this link here. This is a link to my gold guides playlist for the Elder Scrolls Online. I just show you a whole bunch of different ways to save gold, to make gold, to farm certain things to make gold, whatever. Pretty much everything in these videos revolves around gold, and I reckon you'll find them pretty useful. And I'll just remind you that in the description, there's a link to my power leveling provisioning video. Be sure to check that out if you haven't got your provisioning to level 50, and you do want to kind of utilize this technique that I've showed you here. That would help you out a lot, having 50 out of 50 provisioning. Now before we end it, I'll just say again, not the best way or fastest or anything like that. It's probably not even the smartest way to use these provisioning ingredients. But it's just, uh, it's just one way to make some extra cash if you can't be bothered trying to find buyers for certain items and meeting up with people and sending COD and trying to work out COD costs and all that crap. This is purely you, the environment, and a vendor. There's no player-to-player -player interaction needed. It's like a, a, a nice little extra 20, 30k a week. So yeah, I hope this video had some positive influence on your Elder Scrolls Online experience. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And as always, if you did enjoy this video and you would like more videos, Videos similar to this one, please subscribe. It would help me out a lot. I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I'll see you there. See ya.